I'm saying eight questions, but we are going to discuss eight areas in which you have to prepare yourself if you are writing random forest in your resume. Let's go to the whiteboard and understand all these eight areas. First of all, what and why of random forest? This will include what is random in random forest. Very important to understand. I will explain you now. Important parameters of random forest, advantages and disadvantages. How do you tune random forest model? Uh, feature importance in random forest, out of back concept in random forest, how prediction happens and I'm going to tell you one bonus tip or bonus area. First of all, what and why of random forest. So uh, RRR movie is released and Aman wants to uh, wants to make a call whether Aman should spend 3000 rupees on the RRR movie ticket. Okay, so Aman goes and ask five of his friends, friend one, friend two, friend three, friend four and friend five. Out of these five friends, two of the friends are, you know, diehard fan of Ram Charan. So these two friends are biased. These two friends will always say Ram Charan, all movies are great movies. So these two guys are biased. However, when Aman asks to friend three and friend four and friend five, then Aman gets a better idea by combining all these knowledge. Aman gets a better idea of how the RRR movie is and whether Aman should spend 3000 rupees or should not spend 3000 rupees. So what I'm doing here, I'm reducing the bias of my model. Now you can think these friends as one one model, model one to model five. Model one can be biased, uh, individual decision tree can be biased. However, it is highly unlikely that all the decision trees will be biased. First thing. Second thing, model one can have high variance, but at the same time, it is highly unlikely that all the models will have high variance. So when knowledge from multiple models are combined together, then what we get as is the combination of low bias and low variance. And that is the magic of ensemble models. One such ensemble model is random forest. That is the what is random forest? Random forest is basically combination of multiple models in order to get low bias and low variance, kind of a general model, generalized model. Okay. Why we use random forest to have a bias variance trade off. Now, one important question here, guys, what is random in random forest? So I'm not sure if you are 100% confident on this, but let me tell you guys, let's say you start with 1000 rows and 10 columns. So what is your data save? 1000 rows and 10 columns when random forest models are made then the default assumption is it will be made on data subsets right that we call bags so if we talk of thousand records then 100 records in come bag one 100 records can come in bag two and so on and so forth we can have how many bags we can have 10 bags all these bags will have 100 100 records each with replacement understand these guys this is not without replacement with replacement which means the record which is in b1 it is possible that same record can be in b2 number one then why do we call it random forest try to understand these guys all these samples that we call bags right this is called bagging process this is selected randomly for example this 100 records randomly selected with replacement that is one reason why we call it random forest but that's not all there is one more reason why we call it random forest you see these 10 guys 10 features all these 10 features will not go to all these bags or all these individual models okay all these 10 features will not go randomly selected subset of the features and here also there is a catch guys i'm going to show you in some time in random forest SK learn right by default this parameter is auto okay and if this parameter is auto that means it will take all the features of your model so what we understand by random forest is 100 into 10 100 into 10 sorry 100 into a subset not 10 100 into a subset let's say 100 into um, 3 100 into 3 100 into 3 on this data the models will be fit However, if you go to SQL and documentation, this auto parameter will take all the features by default in case you don't change it. So it will be 100 into 10, 100 into 10, 100 into 10. So to answer the question, why random forest is called random forest? Because 
rows and columns both are randomly selected okay one catch here i told you about that catch we will discuss more on this next important parameters of random forest so i will talk about three four parameters here guys first is <clears throat> number of estimators okay how many estimators how many trees you want so by default random forest will give you some 100 per 100 trees you can change this parameter second is how many max features you want to put the same parameter that i was talking now okay how many max features you want to put so here i told you the default is auto which means all the feature will go in all the bags but this you can set okay third is normal you know decision tree things will apply here for example maximum depth leaf nodes those things will apply here so i will not discuss those things next thing i want to discuss here is important concept known as bootstrap now if you see here guys i told you out of these thousand records right 100 records and some columns will go in bag one 100 records in some column in bag two but do you know this there is a parameter where we can send all the records in all the trees or all the models that parameter is called bootstrap okay by default this is true if you make it false then all the rows will go in all these bags okay remember these are small small things guys interview will try to kind of um you know understand if you know things based on these so if you may make bootstrap as false then all the records go to all the bags by default it is true okay these are some of the important parameters then something related to out of bag out of bag means what percentage you want to keep out of bag at a time right so that also is one thing that we will check now in some time so these are some important parameters with this the basic decision tree parameters will obviously come okay uh, let's move on to the next one guys advantages and disadvantages and we will compare with regression models okay so what are regression model regression model are typically high bias model okay and what is random forest random forest is kind of low bias model and low variance model also we can say right so that is one one area of comparison second area of comparison is um in regression models you have a direct relation right direct relation which means y is equal to mx plus c i'm talking about in random forest you do not have a direct relation okay if you want to understand more about how random forest works guys i have made a detailed video theory and implementation both link is here you must watch that video okay i am covering in little high level because if i cover everything in detail it will be very very long okay so direct relation y is equal to mx plus c will not be here in random forest in regression it will be there and on third thing that you can compare is how outliers and missing value will impact so i already told you in decision tree uh, video it will be there but not too much of impact okay outlier and missing value impact it will be there in random forest but not as much as regression models and next thing training of the model or you can say performance or you can say infra requirements right so obviously infra requirements will be more in random forest because we want to train multiple models on the same data we want to take subsets of the data train one model take subset of the data train one more model like that so infra requirements will be more so on these three four things you can compare advantages and disadvantages of random forest with regression now how do you tune the model guys so tuning the model will happen on these important parameters and also some more parameters like max depth etc you can take but these are the important not these parameters parameters are here actually these are the important parameters which you can take for example number of estimators max features bootstrap out of bag right and how do you do this multiple ways of parameter tuning grid search cv randomized search cv right i have made detailed video link is here you must watch how to do parameter tuning in general okay not specific to this in general next comes how the feature importance is calculated in random forest another interesting concept guys so i told you random forest does not give you a direct relation between one variable and the target however random forest tells you which variable are more important for example if there are let's say variable 1 to variable 10 in your data then sometimes we use random forest not for model building but just to know which variables are more important for my model 
okay and random forest will give you a number against each variable for example variable 7 number 0 0.32 variable 5 number 0 0.05 like this one number it will give you against all the variables so the question here is uh, whichever is the highest number that is obviously most important variable but the question is um, how this is done right so basically there are concept of mean decrease um, accuracy and mean decrease guinea index okay so i will write here and you can see in sklearn learn documentation also mean decrease accuracy for regression problems and mean decrease guinea you can say you can just say model dot uh, feature importance i think feature underscore importance it will give you these numbers which i which i showed you now okay what else is there um out of bag concept right so out of bag is like something which i don't want to keep in the bag so here i i want to for example if you consider this model right so here in this model in this bag some records are there and some records are out of bag so this is applicable for this model and then we test what is the performance on out of bag we test what is the performance on that particular sample based on that we can put some thresholding model tuning also so that is the concept of out of bag how prediction happens so this is one point where some beginners confuse normally you guys won't confuse but still i will tell you so let's say there are five models m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 you are solving a fraud detection problem model one says this transaction is fraud this says fraud this says non-fraud this says fraud and this says non-fraud so in the final prediction whatever the mode will be the prediction of your model so what is the mode here fraud suppose you are solving a regression problem this says 10 this says 11 this says 13 this says 9 and this says 8 so final prediction will be your average of all these predictions okay so that is how prediction happens in random forest now uh, what is the last one bonus area so bonus area i want to show you guys knowingly the reason for that is one one page which you must go before all your interview for example if i'm writing random forest in my resume right i will definitely go and scroll through this page once so i have opened both random forest classifier and regression let's say regression um, i want to scroll okay so number of estimators we were talking default is 100 okay criterion you know you can you can see what are the parameter max depth we can set minimum sample we will just see some important ones okay see max features i was talking about these guys max features default is auto what happens when this is auto see here if auto then max features is equal to number of features i'm sure many of you would not be uh, paying much at attention to this right if auto then max feature is equal to number of features that's what i told you right but if you want to change you can change it okay and uh, mean impurity decrease some some important parameter this bootstrap i told you default is true which means bags will be uh, generated but um, if you make it false if false whole data set is used to build the tree understand this guys important concept okay out of bag score whether to use out of bag sample to estimate the generalization score only available in bootstrap is equal to true obviously right if you are taking all the data in model training then your oob concept itself is not applicable right so that is true here random state you know already max samples all these you can go through once so these are the questions guys i gave you link for two three videos i will put in description also which i have created on random forest kindly go through this that Give me a thumbs up guys if you are liking these videos and I should create more of these videos. Please drop me a comment saying you are liking these. And please subscribe to the channel guys if you have not done yet. I will see you all in the next video wherever you are. Stay safe and take care.